Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And spread thoughts of goodwill all around. The comfort of the breathing when you do it with mindfulness and alertness. And the basic goodness of goodwill. These are good food for the mind. Because we're assaulted by all kinds of junk food. And the mind realizes it needs some good nourishment. The nourishment that comes from being generous, the nourishment that comes from holding the precepts, and the nourishment that comes from meditating. These things are nourishing for the mind because they give it strength. Junk food out there actually wastes your strength. It takes a lot of energy out of you just to keep up with everything outside. And what do they have to offer you? Things that will be old in just a little time. Last week's news, last week's whatever. It turns old really fast, and yet you go through such a huge effort to find it. This is why it's good to put an effort into finding things that don't change, like the happiness of your pleasures of the last week, the sensual pleasures of last week. Where is that now? Well, it's just a memory, and sometimes the memory is not all that good. But when you think back on times when you were generous and you didn't have to be, times when you were virtuous and didn't have to be. And then when you look at the mind when it's actually settling down and meditating, these things are good for a long time. They stay fresh for a long time. The happiness of the world gets stale very quickly. That's why they have to put newspapers out every day. They have to post things online every day, otherwise it gets stale. But the Dharma never grows stale. It's the same message all the time. Some people say, when are we going to hear something new? Well, it's not the same thing all the time, and that's what's reassuring about it. The principles never change. And as you develop those principles in your mind, okay, you're feeding the mind with a strength that doesn't need to change either. It doesn't go up or down with the ups and downs of the body, ups and downs of the economy, ups and downs of society at large. It's got its own steadiness, its own solidity. So try to tap into that solidity. Tap into the solidity that the Buddha taught and the, the solidity of the happiness that he had and he's showing you that this is how it's done. This is real food for the mind, genuine food for the mind, instead of wasting away. It actually builds your strength, until ultimately there comes a point where the mind doesn't need to feed anymore. But until that time, you've got good food. It's the same stuff over and over again, but it really is good, so it doesn't matter. <laughs>